Uh, in this video, we will be using the Power BI desktop, the latest version, to connect to our uh, lake house, that is our Microsoft Fabric lake house, and we will create a report and publish that. If you have seen the May update from uh, Microsoft uh, Power BI community, you can see there are lots of updates uh, in our May version. So uh, if this, this is one of the important ones, the Power BI Data Hub has been rebranded as One Lake Data Hub that you will see in our Power BI desktop. Uh, there are new connectors for the fabric, uh, you know, the Microsoft Fabric, the, the connector for the lake house, the connector for the KQL database and lots of other updates. So for this uh, tutorial or the demo, you will need the latest version of Microsoft Power BI, which we have downloaded in another video and installed. I'll share the link somewhere here. So this is my lake house. Uh, that's the lake house explorer. Let me go to the SQL endpoint. As you as you might be knowing by now, that lake house, the SQL endpoint is a read-only, uh, you know, uh, endpoint. So you will just be able to uh, run your uh, read-only queries uh, to this endpoint. Let's jump into the Microsoft Power BI desktop. Uh, if you have the latest version, you, sh you should see the One Lake Data Hub, these options, the Power BI desktop, the Lake House connectors, and so on. We will be using the Lake House connector. So this is my email address. And that's how you connect. Once connected, it should be able to show me all the Lake Houses that I have in my workspace you can see the workspaces that i have access to and all the lake houses that i have access to i'll select this particular lake house this is in fitness geek workspace so before connect you can see there are two options now one is connect and one is connect to sql endpoint we'll be connecting the to the sql endpoint here you can define your own model So let's connect to the SQL endpoint. Let me confirm. So we are establishing a connection to the SQL endpoint for our Fabric Lake House. You see there are a few system tables that has been exposed. The DW manifest files. And if you see the name of our SQL connection string is exactly the same. So we have connected successfully. You can see there are three system views that has been exposed, the manifest files, the table folks and physical tables. We will uh, dig into that in later stages. Let's select the holiday data and load the data. We'll just create a very basic report and publish it. So we will be, uh, yeah, so uh, once connected, you need to give your connection settings whether you want to import the data or do a direct query i'll be selecting direct query and we should see the connections okay so we are okay we are done so we should be able to see the table in our data section that is right there let me quickly you know fast forward and create a basic report This is a holiday uh, data for all the countries. So I'll just create a basic table view and then a chart, a bar chart. Let me do the stack bar chart. And distinct holidays, let me do that. Okay, so this is the basic report uh, and we should be able to publish it now. Let me quickly save this first and I will publish this to our workspace. I'll give it a name, Lake House Report version 01. Yeah, that should be okay. Save and now publish we'll publish to our fitness geek workspace 
is currently publishing to our workspace. It is done. Let's go. Let's head back to our Power BI service or and see how the report looks like, whether it has been successfully uh, published or not. So let's go and check that. I'll just duplicate this tab. And this is my workspace. And if I scroll down, I should be able to see my new report. And this is the report. Let's click that. So that is done. We have successfully published our first report in our Fabric workspace from Power BI Desktop. Then you can share this report with, within your organization uh, to view or share out. You can, you know, uh, uh, control the accessibility and control uh, what you want to do by just allowing them to just view the file view the report and not share it so you can you know particularly for this uh, like sensitive data you don't want to share with allow people to share so you only want to share with the people uh, you want uh, specific you know so so that's how you control the accessibility of your report and that's it you just enter the email address and send it across so that's that's a quick tutorial quick video on microsoft power bi uh, desktop uh, how to you know create uh, how connect to a lake house and create a report uh, i hope you i hope you like this video please do uh, uh, support by just subscribing and yeah thanks a lot and stay tuned for the next video